okay. Hi guys, uh, today is my meal prep day. I am preparing enough meals to get us through the six, maybe seven days of dinners and I'm going to do some breakfast burritos for breakfast and this helps me not worry about what we're going to have for dinner or what if you know if we stop late we always have food we just zap it in the microwave and we're good. Okay first up on the meal plan is ziti. I have I've just been really loving ziti lately and I'm making this like I would like make a uh, lasagna so but with ziti noodles so let's strain our noodles okay the next step is I put my ground beef I like to prepare ground beef when I get it um, and that way I all week I have ground beef to use whether it's tacos or or uh, any kind of casseroles that I use, which I use a lot. So I just pour in as, about as much as I think we should have, which is about a pound. Yeah, that's about it. Maybe a little over a pound. And I heat this up. My favorite spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce is Rayos. It has just really good clean ingredients, and I try to buy as clean or organic as I can. Um, this is grass-fed um, ground beef that I got at Costco in the freezer section. They come in patties, but it's 100% ground beef, so I they come in a third patty. So I put three in a bag, and that's a pound of meat, so I know in my mind. And then we always have hamburger patties ready. So this is the next thing. I have a really good tip. Sometimes jars are hard to open, so I use my can opener. And it just opens it up enough, and it's done. Because I want every little bit of the sauce, I put some water in it, and then it's clean. So we heat this up for a little bit, but it's really nice because, you know, it's fast. Very, very fast. Everything, everything that I make is fast. It's easy, it's 
minimal ingredients. I've learned that over the years. Jim and I have been married almost 43 years and three kids and sports and after school activities and just being busy. Um, I have always just created small meals, you know, small ingredients meals and prepare the meat and stuff beforehand. So I'm gonna spray this a little bit. And then I'm gonna add the noodles, part of the noodles. As you can tell, my pans, my uh, casserole dish, I end up getting a really big one. It's like 50% bigger than normal because I didn't want to have a couple different ones. I wanted one that could do chickens, turkeys in the convection oven, or just casseroles. So this is going to be getting used to because it's pretty big. Okay, next is the cheese. This is, it's just this easy. You can use um, cottage cheese if you want. Jim's not a real cottage cheese fan and I could care less. So we put some mozzarella cheese. This is really good from Trader Joe's. It melts really, really well, even though it's a light cheese. So another thing of noodles, hot noodles. cheese. This is a pound of cheese. Oh, I'm sorry, 12 ounces. And this has been perfect for this big casserole. This will feed us two meals at least and then probably a lunch for Jim. And that's it. That's it. Four ingredients. It's perfect. So on to the next one. All right, guys, my next casserole that I like is also fast and easy, so easy. I used to use um, rice aroni, the beef rice aroni, but I kind of wanted to have a little bit cleaner ingredients, if you if you can. Um, I found the Near East rice pilaf. It's really it's really good. Not as flavorful as rice aroni, but still, I mean, the ingredients are pretty good, pretty good in it. And so I just basically prepare this like I would rice aroni. They always tell you to brown the rice. And I'm making three boxes. Usually I make two. And that gives Jim another dinner, um, leftover dinner, which he loves leftovers. And then I eat soup because I love soup. So I decided to make three boxes just to stretch it out more. And actually with this meal and the ziti, we probably won't need any other meals, but I'm going to make a meatloaf also later. Not for this video, but later on. Um, so anyway, what I do is I grab my butter. A little butter at the bottom. Of course, carry gold. Got to have carry gold. Melt the butter, and then once it's melted, I will put the rice. 
And this is a rice flavor packet, which also has these little pastas in it. So I just throw everything in at once and just let it brown up a little bit. Kind of gives it a nice nutty flavor when you brown it like this. This is one of our favorites and it's so easy, you guys. So, so easy. Three ingredients. Well, plus the butter. So that would be four. Anyway, you brown it. Put it all over there. And I pour in my rice. Grab a spoon. Turn up the heat a little bit. And just coat it so every little piece of rice has coating on it, or butter. And then we just let this sit until it starts to brown. And you can start smelling it. So in goes the packet. around. And then we'll come back when I start putting the other ingredients in. All right, now that my rice, you got to really be careful because I turned it up and it kind of burnt the bottom. Uh, just a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, next I'm going to put five and a quarter cups of water per the directions for three boxes. And then get this, guys. Green beans. Drain your green beans. Since I'm making a big another box, I'm going to add another can of green beans. And then, of course, this is why I always brown up a bunch of ground beef because I use it all throughout my my recipes. So we mix this around. And then throw in some ground beef. You can use ground turkey. You can use sausage. Now, I haven't tried sausage. That might be good. So you put about a pound, maybe a little over a pound since this is a bigger casserole. And then you let it sit and cook for 25 minutes. That's it. And it's so good. And fast and easy. And this is so good for our veers. Yay, our veers. So anyway, so I'm going to put the lid on and let this sit for 25 minutes and we're going to have another meal. I'll come, we'll come back when it's done. Okay guys, it's finally done. 20 minutes. The box is 2025, so I usually do it on the lowest time and then if I need to add more time, that's fine. But this is it. Yum. And it's so simple. And it's really... Here, I'll show you. <clears throat> it's just a really nice hearty meal. And it's really good when you heat it up the next day. And it lasts in your fridge over a week. But it never does at our house. Usually Jim will eat it for lunch if there's any left over. So anyway, I'm going to put this in the container and that'll be it for today. So I hope this helped you. Uh, it's always nice to have some quick and easy meals that are fairly healthy. Um, and I just hope this blesses you. So we'll see you next time. the Can-Am. We can't do it while we're here because that tree's in the way. 
so this is fun. We have to button everything up, and then I have to go back in and make lunches and stuff, but it's all right. It's a learning pro process, right? Okay, smart Alec, you didn't need me after all. <laughs> Thank you.
Into day one. Yes. One down, five to go. Yep. Maybe six. It was a pretty six. easy drive. It was. Yeah. A lot of traffic. A lot of smoke. So, yeah, a lot of smoke. A lot. Just a ton of smoke. So. Uh, we don't know when you're watching this. We haven't thrown anything that we haven't, we don't have a clue as to what we're going to show you guys. We don't. So uh, we ended up at Cabela's and Billings. Uh, we really like Cabela's. They, um, they've got some big RV spots. A lot of traffic noise, but you know what? Hey, You get what free. you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, we've got a really nice, really nice setup. We put out. We put out the one slide because we were able to find a curb site, and um, yeah, we're comfortable. I know, right by the horse pens. Yep. It's perfect. All right, it was, oh man, the smoke. So we looked yeah. up the smoke, the, the fires, the fire smoke, and the cause is apparently California, Oregon, Oregon and Idaho. Idaho. Yeah. And it's all pushing this way. Yeah. You know, you guys saw some, some footage, some road footage, and... Um, Boy, it was it, it was sad. We couldn't see the mountains no. or the hills. It yeah. was it was really sad. It was very very sad because it's such a beautiful drive. It is. It is very pretty. So uh, you decided to give us what for dinner? Ziti. Ziti. It's like lasagna but with ziti noodles. <laughs> and it's sitting in the microwave right now. I know. He had to climb on the counter to put it in the microwave. It's sitting on the counter. We're gonna eat ziti for dinner. We are. And Maybe then we're, a salad. We're going to watch a little bit of, of local news and uh, on the road again in the morning. Yep, first thing in the morning. On the road again. I can't <laughs> wait to get on the road again. <laughs> so, day one of our 2,500 mile plus drive. That's right. And it was successful. Check. Check. <laughs> it was. It was good. Okay, let's go eat some dinner. Sounds great.